Okay, got your Monday workout for 824. Warm up, three rounds. So you just go through your exercises, the swing, sumo, all the way through the skaters, and then your mobility complex, one on each side. And then you'll do three rounds. Pretty straightforward, nothing new with that. So your workout, we have ourselves kind of five sets of exercises, okay? And the clock's gonna be set on one minute. You're gonna perform each exercise for one minute, alternating between the two exercises in the set until you get to six minutes. So you do each exercise three times, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. There'll be three minutes before the next set of exercises, and that's when you do the core complex. Okay, so that's it. So exercises, skip the warm up, you guys should know all those stuff. Your exercises, so first set of exercises is your broad jump, right? Two feet jump, as far as you can, turn around, so that's it for your 60 seconds, and then you have your kettlebell one leg around the world, all right? So you can do half with one leg, half with the other, you can switch sides which way you go, but again, just holding that balance, and then for that minute goes off, get back to your broad jumps, then you kettlebell around the world, then your broad jumps, and then kettlebell. So you do each exercise three times. And then you'll get into your core complex, okay? So we'll do the core complex now, why not? Sit up with a twist, right? Just like sound, sit up, two twists. All right, you got 12 of those. Your legs up, hip lift. So your legs are here, and you're getting those hips up as high as you can. You want a little extra work, you can add a little twist as you do that up top as well. So get those hips up as high as you can. All right, plank, opposite reach. We know those. Plank, one leg, opposite reach. Working on that nice, strong plank. All right, now your ab wheels. We have the regular ab wheels. We know how to do those, six of those. Otherwise, uh, there's only so many of those, so you might have to use a single arm ab wheel, but same process. Roll it up. One arm will be like a push-up. One arm is like your ab wheel. All right, three of those on each side. Then your bird dog with toe touch. Okay, so you're gonna finish with either 12 of these or until there's only 30 seconds left on the clock. That way you're not, uh, excuse me, I'll change that, until uh, one minute left on the clock, okay? So it should take you at least two minutes to do all these exercises in the core complex. If you're moving really fast, then you'll be stuck on the bird dog doing this for a while. But your bird dog, so it's a reach, and then just bring it back, toe touch. So it's a reach, toe touch, keeping that spine nice and long, right? Working on a good technique. For that one. So that is your core complex. And again, you're gonna do that after each set of exercises. You'll get pretty good with that one. All right, onto set two of your exercises. Your sumo hand to hand, okay? So it's a little wider squat, beat out a little out to the side. That's sumo, all right? And that hand to hand, right? Switching it up top, boom. Now we go from that to your alternating one arm swings. Okay, we put these together so you know the difference. One arm swings, right? Slight bend in the knees, more bend at the waist. Sumo, hand to hand, really bend the nose, knees. My waist really stays at that same angle the whole time. So I think with this set, you guys will get pretty good at knowing the difference. Okay, thrust, thr thrusters, dumbbell, thrusters with your squat jump. So what I mean by thrust is kind of the bottom part of a burpee. So with the dumbbells in hand, put them down, feet kick out, no push up, right? That's what the difference is. No push up. Back up, squat jump. Right, out. Now, get the boxes here. If getting kind of low is difficult, you can set yourself up with some boxes, give you a little more height, so that way you can get uh, yourself into that thr thruster position a little easier. So that's the modification if you need to. Of course, you can jump without the dumbbells and just do the thrusters, and then jump with no. You can squat with the weight without the jump, Couple different mods. So mixed up with this one is your one-legged RDL. You can alternate, you do 30 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever works for you. Okay, then the next set, set four. Jump ropes, jumping jacks, if you need to, if you don't like the jump rope, if you don't have a jump rope at home. And then your halo. So it's a halo, not a slasher, so we're keeping the weight up the whole time. Eye level. All right, there's your halo. That's set four, set five. We got our kettlebell figure eights. All right, and then the plank jack. We did today on Friday, Saturday. Uh, plank jack with a plate. Jack, plate. All right, now the plate's gonna be typical for some people. You know what, go up. One, two steps. That'll make it a little more manageable for you to get that 
pike in, all right? And then if you have time, if you want to stick around and do one more core complex, you can. So there'll be four core complexes after the first four sets of exercises. The fifth core complex, it's on you. If you want to do it, go ahead. If you're going to run off to work or something, well, then you're going to run off to work. No problem. No big deal. That's it, guys. Enjoy your weekend.